coming to you from the international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was down visiting my friends at Concept One Pulley Systems and attending the 2022 Auto Crusade Car Show. My buddy Trevor Evans is the prince, as they say, of burnouts. His daddy, Jimmy Evans, is the king. I met dad first, and then I met the boy. And a few years ago, I would come back from this show, and I would tell people that there's this kid down there who's got this C10, and he hooks up a camper to the back of it, and he does burnouts in it. And I've seen it. I mean, this camper is a camper that him and his family camp in. It's not just like a prop camper, you know? It's the craziest thing you've ever seen. Well, that was a few years ago. Now the whole world's probably seen him, and I'm proud to know him. I was proud to know him then. I'm proud to know him now. But I'd never done a feature on the truck and the camper and all that. Answered all the questions that people ask about them so anyways here we go we got the 1985 chevrolet c10 of the prince of burnouts trevor evans let's check it out trevor evans world famous trevor evans how are you brother doing great sir how are well, you i'm really good now <laughs> after that little show you put on for all the illegal burnouts you've done oh, yes. they open they close the street down and let you do a legal burnout oh yes that was the first legal burnout i've ever got to do and so you said that was the one that made you the most nervous it was i was i was a nervous wreck before that that's crazy <laughs> well like i said i jokingly tell you this but the truth is is that you have become world famous over the last couple of years because you're doing burnouts with trailers and you're one of the first ones if not the first one to start doing that yes sir tell me about the truck you do it in uh, so the truck, it's a 1985 uh, C10. It's just an old custom deluxe, manual windows, manual locks. I had a stroker motor in it for a long time, a stroker LS. Super powerful, super, you know, reliable engine. Took it out to Hoonigan, blew both head gaskets, blew the water pump to pieces, stuff like that. So I decided that, uh, you know, had a really expensive motor and I was treating it really bad. Got 70,000 miles out of it. I took it back to the engine builder, uh, Johnny Thomas, and he's actually doing it up for me again, you know, fixing a few things here and there so that I can have it for later. But in the meantime, I uh, slapped literally a, uh, a factory 6.0 that I had laying around in it, put a VS Racing 80 millimeter uh, turbo on it. And John Tessier, uh, it's, it was still the same 4L80 transmission here a few weeks back. I actually finally ended that one's life and he built me another one and uh, i'm looking forward to another 70 80 thousand miles out of that one he's the best in the business so uh, i decided up front you know if you if you spend the money where you need it and uh, you know do it all up front then uh, hopefully it'll last you as long as you need it you know sometimes the way that i drive i break stuff overall you know if it was just you know average joe out there these parts would last them forever so you know it's just a just a good old fun truck making between seven, 800 horsepower, and uh, you know, it just is what it is, just fun, it's, oh, what, it's think, what we do. I think it's human nature, and a lot of people, they don't want to spend the money on the front end, but then once they get it, they think, well, my six liter turbo is the same as that guy's, I can do the same <laughs> thing, you know? Exactly. But you go in telling them, no, you just thing needs to be bulletproof, because oh, you know yes. how I drive oh, it, yes. so. What's the history of the truck? Don't tell me like your grandfather gave it to you or something. No, no, it, I mean, it's pretty close. So there is a, a a family that I know up in, I guess it would still be Dahlonega area, Dawsonville, Dahlonega, up by the square in Dawsonville. It's uh, Jane and Jan Swanson. I actually ran into them last week over at the Varsity Cruise Inn in Dawsonville, and I got my picture with the family. So that was pretty neat. My buddy Jimmy Hamby, it's one of my dad's friends, Hambone is what we call him. He took me up there and, uh, you know, showed me the truck. It was parked under an old tree in the field and uh, went out there talked to her and it was actually her father's truck and so she told me you know 1200 bucks i could take it home with me this was 10 years ago now you can't find deals like that no, anymore right. so i was like even back then i was like man what an awesome deal so i, I just walked over to her i handed her 1200 bucks i said i'll take it i brought a battery with me brought some gas i was like you think it'll drive home she said it should it was driving he she said we parked it there i was like fair enough so i took my battery over there dumped a little gas in the carburetor didn't didn't adjust anything turned over twice and fired right up and oh, i was like oh God. man that was meant to be right you know on. and i was pulling out the driveway and she stopped me on my way down the driveway and she said here i want you to have this and she handed me a uh, four hundred dollars back i was like what the, what's this for and she said this was my dad's truck she said she said take care of it she said i want you to enjoy it she said there's some gas on me she wow. said anything that you might need you know a little tinker stuff she said fix it up she said she said i want you to drive this thing she said, I want you to enjoy it. And uh, what I did is, so I ended up with $800 in the truck. First thing I did was bought a lowering kit, which is still on it. That's the same spindles, everything that I put on it. About a 5.7 drop and uh, put it on there. Drove it around with a 305. I ended up 305. It started to wear that it wouldn't pull itself anymore hardly. Smoking real bad. I guess I might have blew a ring gland. You never know with those 305. So pulled it out, put a 383 stroker in it, just a little small block. And a guy, uh, he met me at the moonshine festival and he made me an offer for that motor that uh 
I couldn't turn it down. So I told him, you know, you will help me pull it tonight. I said, we'll yank it out. And that right there is where the LS stuff comes from. So you from. sold it in the parking lot. I did. I sold it How'd in the parking lot. How'd you get lot. home? Well, I drove it home and he and I pulled it out that night. Okay. And so we were close. That's right. We, we were. Probably, right, yep. right. Yep. How much everybody wants to know, how, how much is your tire bill? <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris over at Silver City Tire, he, uh, he really helps me out a lot, you know. Uh, he charges me cost as much as I would love to be sponsored. You know, it's more to me, you know, just to support a small business. And he and his family run the run the store, and uh, you know, I love that family. They they are like family to me. I love those people just like they're my own. And uh, he charges me cost and hardly charges me the mount them. So you know, I've right now I'm on about my 13th set, I believe. I'd probably just destroy the 13th set this year since January. It's only August, and and it's only August. We got a couple sets left in us, so You're going to LS Fest, aren't we're. You? I am going to LS Fest, <laughs> well, so that's going to be another take about one. Three sets to LS Fest. <laughs> I'm going to need another set before I head up there for there, sure. There's going to be track marks from your hotel parking lot to, to Bowling Green and back. There will, be, there will, absolutely. That's where Trevor's been. Here's his little path. <laughs> that that's him. And what about the camper? Because I think everybody too thinks all oh, that camper. They don't use that camper. It's all emptied out, and you know it doesn't really add any weight to it. Oh yeah. What about that camper? Yeah. So I, I've heard it all. You know, I've heard of people, you know, walking by, and I've heard them just sitting around like, oh, that thing's hollowed out. He don't, you know, he just uses it for a for a video prop and all that. And then they open the door, and it's, the air conditioner is blowing 67 degrees. You know, it's just just one of those things. My family and I use it as often as we can. You know, we got two brand new babies. We haven't been able to use it in a while. Uh, I had COVID last year, and I actually lived in that camper for two weeks. Oh wow! So uh, you know, AC blowing ice cold, and everything's so comfortable in there. It's a little small. You know, I think it, uh, if I'm thinking right, I've got another one at home. But if I'm thinking right, this one's a 16 footer. You know, it's comfortable for me, the kids, the wife. You know, for us to just. It's just for sleeping in, you know. Right. We're, we're not going to be playing any video works. games. Oh, it does. It no, does as work. a matter of fact, before you did that burnout, it was all set up with it a was. canopy it and was. lawns, chairs, and just like I see any other time. Yes, sir. You know, I, th I at first I was like, well, that's a pretty sharp way to hide from the cops, right? There ain't no, <laughs> there ain't no way you'd think that truck's oh, yeah. been anywhere, right? Yes, it's been sitting there. Yes, sir. So people are going to want to know too. What's the secret to a good burnout? Secret to a good burnout, I would have to say, is a turbo. Yeah. You know, uh, but the they, driving part. Of oh, it. the driving part is just so growing up. My dad, you know. He was my hero. He uh, he done burnouts everywhere we went. He, uh, you know, kind of a funny story. When I was a little bitty kid, uh, probably, I mean, little, like two or three, he'd put me in his white Chevelle. He has a white 72 Chevelle. Oh, we shot a video and of it. He yeah. sure did. And uh, we'd crawl on that thing, and I, you know, I'd, I always tried to pay attention. I didn't say much, but I just paid attention. You know how mechanics can be? You don't want to get in their way. You yeah. just, you, you, me watching was enough. And uh, I was two or three, and every time I'd see him click it down to uh, it was a manual valve body transmission, so he would have to click it down to gear. And every time I saw, I, I could watch him stop on the number two, and I knew that was second gear. I knew that was burnout time. And so every time I'd ride in it, I go, "Put it in two, Daddy. Put it in two. <laughs> you know. Ever since then, it's just been one of those things. You know, I've just I love going fast. I love building stuff with horsepower. But man, burnouts is where it's at. It's just it breaks less. You just get to enjoy it more. So you are know? you doing that with breakers at all horsepower? It's just I rarely ever use brake. Like with that one, I uh, the one that I just did. I try to use a line lock, and it just pushes through. There's so much weight on the back tires. Right. Yeah, I just got a horsepower through it. The line lock won't hold. It just pushes right through, and that will throw it out of a line and everything. You got to throw a lot of weight distribution into mine there. So you know, we just we just throttle it out right so it's so, just about stepping on the gas it's just for about you. stepping it on the gas and you prefer a turbo then i do for that i do for for that right there you know and even even as the little bit of racing that i've done with that truck you know i've noticed you the little bit of lag that it's got it allows me to jump out and then i can just roll right into it as soon as boost rolls in it's time to go anyway so it's uh it's a it's a fun it's a fun setup i loved the 416 the stroker motor that thing was a rocket ship it was so good so reliable um but as far as you know just don't care horsepower turbo's where it's at yeah no that's the way i always felt too because these motors will make four or five hundred horsepower before you even start blowing in them. yes sir so that'll get you out of the hole yes sir and after that about the time you start rolling then yeah now the boost is coming you, you out. roll in seven eight hundred horsepower when you're when you're rolling right and uh you're ready to rock because the supercharger is violent it's, it's instant right on instant. man it's right really every every time you hit the throttle you got boost so that's right and that truck right there my wife drives it my stepdaughter she just turned 15 
I rode in her with it the other night. You know, she drives it all the time. She's got to do burnouts in it. So it's a it's a family thing. You know, I want her to grow up like I did with the with the experience that I had. You know, my little boy, my little girl. I just I just want to share it with them, and so that we can all go have fun, just like I did. Yeah, right on. Because I first met Jimmy, your dad. <laughs> yeah, that was the first one I met. And yes, sir. He's so crazy that I was like, yeah, no, invite him to have a video shot of that car, <laughs> just because he's crazy. You know? Yes. Oh yes. And then uh, I met you, and like I tell you, now I'm very very proud to know y'all. You are good people. This is a great area coming down here for concept ones and the auto crusade oh, car yes. show yes, sir. coming georgia is oh, just yes. really nice area it is so if people want to follow you what's the best ways to do that so i've got a uh, my instagram is at evan trevors um you know it's just e-v-a-n-t-r-e-v-o-r-s my youtube channel is a uh, hot rod homestead you know either way you can follow me my facebook is trevor evans uh you know it's just just my name either backwards or forwards or uh hot rod homestead that's what we call the house with my wife's got all the goats and chickens so it's like a homestead around there so we just we just hang out and play with farm animals and babies and hot rods right on does the truck have a name uh no it does really? not uh everybody keeps calling it cream puff but uh i don't i don't i haven't really named it we just right. it's just the tan truck all right cool well, let's do this, and this will be fun. I'm in the comment section of this video, folks. If you think you got a good name for Trevor's truck, let's put it down there and see if maybe he'll hook up. Let's with do one. it. Let's see it. We've let's named see we've named vehicles before, so maybe we'll get lucky <laughs> and be able to do it again. Yes, sir. No, again, brother, keep doing what you're doing. Like I said, it's so much fun to watch you have fun. Oh yeah. And uh, man, thanks again for giving me some time. Absolutely, that's what we're out here to. You know, we're just out here to have fun. You know, have a good time and uh, set a good example. That's right. You know that that's just what we're all out here to do. The better example we can push, the uh, hopefully the better the next generation will be that's, that's right. what we're after and it's so cool that uh you, you know near your hometown they shut the road down and let you do it yes sir and ho hopefully there will be a few more left after this one right on so there you go from the auto crusade card show in Cumming, georgia a 1985 c10 pickup truck and the family camper the prince of burnouts hope you all have enjoyed it see ya y'all make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos i have posted either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video